This is question number eight. We're told a is for point minus two comma six and b is for point three comma minus eight. We're told the line L is perpendicular to the line x minus three y plus 15 is equal to zero and passes through the midpoint of AB. We're asked to find the equation of L given our answer in the form AX plus BY plus C is equal to zero, where A, B and C are integers. The question carries seven marks. For the equation of a line, we need two things. We need a point that it goes through and a gradient. So let's start off with the point that it goes through. That's going to be the midpoint of AB. So if I just write now midpoint of AB, we add the x's together and divide by 2, and then we add the y's together and divide by 2. So we'll have minus 2 plus 3 divided by 2, and 6 plus minus 8 and divide by 2. So this is going to give me positive 1 half, and then we'll have now minus 1. So this now is a point that it goes through. I want to find the gradient of L. We're told that it's now perpendicular to the line x minus 3y plus 15 is equal to 0. I'm just going to rearrange this in the form y is equal to mx plus c. So adding 3y to both sides, 3y is equal to x plus 15. I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 3 and we'll have y is equal to 1 third x plus 5. We can see the gradient of this line, which I'm going to call m1, is equal to 1 third. We can say that m1 multiplied by m2 will be equal to minus 1 if perpendicular. Therefore, the gradient of a line perpendicular to this one right here, which is L, m2 will be equal to the negative reciprocal of 1 third, which is minus 3. So now we have a gradient and a point that it goes through. I'm simply going to sub this into the equation of a straight line using y minus y1 is equal to m the gradient multiplied by x minus x1. You can, of course, use y is equal to mx plus c here. I'm simply going to use this form. We'll have y minus minus 1 is equal to minus 3, which is the gradient, and then we'll have x minus 1 half. We need this in the form ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. So we'll have y plus 1 on the left-hand side, expanding the brackets, minus 3x plus 3 over 2. At this stage, I could subtract 1 from both sides, which would give me y is equal to minus 3x plus 1 half. I'm now going to multiply both sides of the equation by 2. So we'd have 2y is equal to minus 6x plus 1. I'm going to add 6x to both sides, 6x plus plus 2y, then subtract 1 from both sides, which would give us 6x plus 2y minus 1 is equal to 0. So we can see that a is 6, b is going to be positive 2, and c is going to be minus 1. So we get 7 marks in total for question number 8.